and I did the start streaming and then at um nine then I choose broadcast. Correct. Wow. I see you are broadcasting oh. live. Okay. So I'm good? Yep. So now start broadcasting. Yep. Nine AM. Welcome to the show. Turn the volume up and let the word to God pitch the soul. Fifteen ninety AM on your radio down. And one oh six point one on your FM pal. Thank you for tuning in to the Morning Glory Radio Broadcast with Dr. Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Sit back and get ready to receive a word that will transform your life. Good morning, good morning, radio family. This is Prophet Adrian Blackstock, and I have with me my spiritual son, Deacon Dale Sanders. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. We have a special, we're going to be dealing with the power of God, so please go out there and share this. It's a continuation on from Sunday, all this month at Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. We have a four-part series between Bishop and I on the power of God. Amen. And then this Friday in this month of November, though, it's a power shift. Dr. Adam Blackstock will start at 7 p.m. We have a special service on 11-11, which is a divine time. So I'm excited about what God is going to speak through, uh, Bishop, for us during this here time. So all are welcome. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. We will start at 7 o'clock p.m. So get a chance, come out and hear what God is going to be saying to impart into our spirit. Amen. Join us on Wednesday night, interact your Bible study as we're in our season of Thanksgiving and gratitude. We have a powerful lineup of preachers. Amen. On For these Wednesdays and November. So I'm excited about what God is doing to you now. And we're in his hand moving through the people of God. That is what is a blessing for, for Bishop and I, is to see that the word of God is manifesting on the lives of the sheep and on the lives of the lambs at Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, what... Right here. I am still, you know, I was like, okay, Lord, where I'm going to go ahead with this? I may be going to see if I'm going to do something different. He says, no, you, we got to share with the masses in reference to the power of God but more importantly, to just bring it down in that I want to share not just any type of power, but the four powers for those of you in the kingdom. Amen. Amen. So, yes. Deacon Dale, I'm going to start off with this. Um, I want to lay the foundation of the scripture. So you guys do, feel, do me a, um, a favor out there. I'm laughing because this is the um, son, this video that's going around this little girl talking about favors. And she started she saw talking about and telling, oh, my phone is recording <laughs> to my son everything I'm saying. Oh, glory. Um, she started talking to her. Uh, she's talking to someone in the family, and she's telling them about these favors that, you know, they keep talking about her mama won't get all these favors. So I started laughing because of that, right? Right. And so, but I'm asking you guys to do a favor and share the gospel out there on Facebook, YouTube, all of that. So I want to go to First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 11 and i want to look at it in the king james version first of all and then i want to look then i'm going to go to the nlt and then deacon dale i'll let you pick it up with two verses amen so yes, this is how i want to part this into your spirit hallelujah to the lamb of god and then you can see why we're on fire hallelujah, hallelujah. it says first corinthians 4 verse 20 it says, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Say that word, power. Power. Amen. Power. Glory. So when you think we say the kingdom of God, once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are now placed in the kingdom of God. So it says here, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. So you got plenty of people, Deacon Dale, that can speak word all day long. But right. is there a manifestation and a demonstration that comes after that? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Mm. So you need to be in the kingdom. If you're not in the kingdom, before this broadcast over, I hope you accept Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. Amen. And say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Hallelujah, Lamb of God. I word, thought, deed. Amen. I accept Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, because you want to be in the kingdom. You don't want to be a part of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now look at, 
Let's look at the NLT version. Oh, and I like I like the NLT version. For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk, Deacon Dale. Woo! Not a lot it of talk. Is living by God's power. Now we're going a little higher. So the mm. kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. Now there's here it is. Now if you're part of the kingdom of God and then you're gonna walk in the power of God. It says you got to live by God's power. And I'm going to show you why, amen, after Deacon Dale give his two versions of 1 Corinthians 4 and 20 about power, especially in this day and age. You're, listen, we're not talking about the powers of the world, amen, that we're talking about God's power. If you want to be able to sustain, if you want to be able to continue to stand, you're going to need to be connected with the highest power of all, Amen, which is the power of God. Go Amen. ahead, Amen. So, yes, it's uh she is so right to where it's so much contained in this to where you get so full to where it's it's a must to be shared because if we don't share it, we might erupt from the inside out. Amen. Come on now. So it says first Corinthians four, and I'm in the passing translation, uh four nineteen. I'm gonna start with nineteen because it said, but I will come soon if it pleases the Lord, and I will find out not only what these arrogant ones are saying, but also if they have power to back up their words. Woo! Now when we get to verse twenty, it says, For the kingdom realm of God comes with power, not simply impressive words, meaning that it comes with power, not just words that you think you're all high, mighty, intellectual, or something like that, or you just cool with, with your words playing and everything, like you playing on words, whatever, but it's power. If you ain't got no power in your words, your cool cat, daddy, Mac, five verbs don't mean nothing. Amen? I, my God, that's, that's it. That's it. Hallelujah. So, and let's go to the message translation, which I, I love to read it out the message. And it says, and it starts me at verse 18. I know there are some among you who are so full of themselves, they never listen hey, wait, to wait, wait, anyone. Wait, 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 wait. Did it say that? Yes, it did. What did In the what, what, translation. Uh, on what time to say, did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> right? It says, I know there are some among you who are so full of themselves, they never listen to anyone. Let me alone. They don't think I'll ever show up in person, mm. but I'll be there sooner than you think, God willing. And then we'll see if they're full of anything but hot air. God, oh, God's this, this way. A, this is Apostle Paul. Ooh. Yes, the it Apostle is. Paul. This see, sometimes as Christians, you got to let people know. Mm -hmm. They take your cat. I talk this on. You got to go look at the whole message on Sunday. That's part yes. one. I'm doing part two. And Bishop doing part three and then part four. Son, some people take your, your kindness for granted. Some people yep. think because we're Christians, amen, that, you know, yeah. oh, you know, we're just going to let them just keep continuing to walk over us. No, sometimes I will show you better than I tell you. That's Don't, it. Just, listen, it's a dangerous thing for me to get quiet. Whew. Hallelujah. Man. Go ahead. That's it. And it says anything but hot air. Somebody just keep a pen around you just in case you, you might run into one of those <laughs> and just pop that hot air up out of them. So it says, God's way is not a matter of mere talk. It's an empowered life. Mm. God's way is not, God's way is not matter of mere talk. It is an empowered life. He empowers you with the power, not just mere words. You just speak it and it ain't got no power behind it, but he empowers you just like how you speak to some people or even your pastor. Or, or the uh, the shepherd of your flock, and you hear how they talk, the true man and woman of God, and when they talk, they talk with so much power and conviction to where you sit back and like, God, you know what I'm saying? I desire, Heavenly Father, to have something like that to where when I speak, people, everything around me shuts down and people begin to listen. That's Woo! power. That's power. Everywhere you go, you should have power. When, when, when you open your mic, when you open your mouth to speak the word of God, you should have power coming out to where the enemy that was in them or whatever was in them will run and the truth, Heavenly Father, will come on out of them, you know what I'm saying, and speak because you have made them so uh, attentive to the word to where that the enemy has no control of them no more. Hallelujah. That's where it comes in with deliverance. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Mm. Hallelujah. So, son, so now we, we don't lay this foundation. That's 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 one of our foundational scriptures. So the, now then God speaks over here in Ephesians 2. I'm reading from the King James. 
we're in Ephesians 2 and 2, we're in in time past, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. Now see, now we're going somewhere different. The power of the air. Those that, look what it says, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. Mm. See, those that are walking in disobedience, they're functioning with a different power. Right. And it doesn't mean that it's not powerful, right? Right. But it's not powerful against those of us that are in the kingdom of God. Oh, That's my right. My God, my God. That's my right. God. That's so you, right. Like, let me, so you can understand that. Anyone who has not accepted Jesus, oh, I feel my help. Come on. Anyone who has not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior is a part of the kingdom of darkness, which belongs to the children of disobedience. Mm. Hear me, people of God. You cannot be in one, you can't have one foot in and one foot out. We got to call it like we see it. Either you have accepted Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, or as my little Adeline would say, or not. Mm. Okay? Do you do you the verse 3 says, among whom also we all had our conversations, you be going somewhere with this mouth, in time past, in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature of God children a wrath, even as others. Mm. So see, when you are not a part of the kingdom of God, then when you are not walking, let me break it down. When you are not walking in obedience, then you are now in disobedience, and now you are under the powers of the air. This, who is over the powers of the air, which is Satan. Satan. He is yes. the prince of the air. He's not the king. Mm. No, he didn't say he was the king. Because the right. king has greater power. That's right. Than the prince right. of the air. So mm. therefore, so let me make this person. So some of you, when we're talking about being around like-minded individuals and people speaking negative words, those words are, when people are speaking word curses and all of that, there's still Ooh. a power to that. Woo, my yes, God. Yes, it my is. God. Listen, I even was going this, in, uh, I didn't even get to go into this while I was on the, um, yeah, on, on tooth message. Amen. My phone. But I have to ring it on my phone. I didn't take my phone off. Amen. So the power, those are the powers of the air. So mm -hmm. let's not get it twisted. Either you're going to have the powers of God or you're going to allow those who are disobedient to be able to use the powers of Satan to override you. Uh -huh. But we come by to give you some help. That's right. Amen. Now, Amen. Son, I'm going to go over four of these. I'm going to go over four of these, all right, and um, prophet, is, yeah, is it all right that I that I read Ephesians two, verse two to three in the uh, passing translation? Yes, go ahead. All right, and also where I was, I learned also, and I think it came from you and Dad to where uh, uh, procrastination is disobedience in slow motion. Procrastination Woo! is disobedience in slow motion. My wife, you know, say used to tell me all that time, and it drilled and it drilled. And, I'm, and, I, and I finally started to get it, and I understand. But also in Ephesians 2, in the uh, Passion Translation, and it says, in verse 2, it says, it wasn't that long ago that you lived in the religious customs and values of this world, obeying dark ruler of earthly realm, who fills the atmosphere with his authority and works uh, diligently in the hearts of those who are disobedient to the truth of God. Mm. The corruption that was in us from birth was exposed through the deeds and desires of our self-life. We live by whatever natural cravings and thoughts our mind dictated, living as rebellious children subject to God's wrath like anyone else. Ooh, my God. Woo! Man. So, we want to be the children of obedience. And because yes. we are children of obedience, we are part of the kingdom of God. That's so, right. And so what we have access to in the kingdom are four types of powers. Amen. Amen. Most of the time we look at the scriptures, and as I broke down on Sunday, especially the book of Ephesians, there are four types of powers. They're not just one type of power. And they all mean something different. Amen. Yes. They all mean Amen. something different in the name of Jesus. So the first one is, is called Koi. K-O-A-H. I'm going to run through these 
amen, and then we're going to spout on them. I don't want to, so the first is the great inability. Let's look at we, Deuteronomy 8, 18. So when people, and I like this one because it deals in the area of wealth and finances. So if you're dealing with spirit of poverty, what have you got, what? You ain't walking in your power. Coy Amen. power. Mm-hmm. But you must remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the what? Ability. What did I say Coy was? Great inability. Gives you the ability to get wealth so that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as is this day. Mm. So he's speaking to the children. So once we got grafted in, God is saying, listen, I've given you the ability. I've given you my kingdom power, my coy power to create wealth. Amen. You have it. Just like he's given every man or woman a measure of faith. So remember, coy means capacity, ability to be firm, vigor, literally, or figuratively, capacity, and means to produce fruit, substance, well, that means mm-hmm. the gifts naturally and supernaturally. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Right? So Hallelujah. we all have, so when you say, well, why I'm not producing? You ain't tapped into your coy power of the kingdom. <laughs> We're not talking about, you see, in the world system, people walk over, people that do everything. No, you don't have to do that. When you do what, use God's power. That's right. So then That's right. Hallelujah. is exousia. E-X-O-U-S-I-A, which means great in authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we look at, at Exousia for the sake of time, it's gonna, when we look at Exousia, right, there's many of scriptures that we can um, look at when we forget sometimes that what Jesus was using, let's talk about in Mark 3, 13 and 15. He went up into the mountain, called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. He ordained 12 to be with him, and to be sent out to preach. When you go what? Preach with what? Authority. And to have authority over what? To heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. That is what when I'm in flowing in the area of deliverance and what to cast out. That's a mixture. That's the authority of Exuser and the and also Dunamis. We're gonna get there. I love Dunamis. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So notice that. Notice that Jesus, just like he did to the, to the disciples, and if you are a disciple of Jesus Christ, if you are a believer in the body of Christ, you, are, you have access in the kingdom, exousia, power. Amen. Great Amen. authority. Hallelujah. Which Hallelujah. means the possessing authority, the right to act in power. It includes authority in jurisdiction, authority, influence, right, privilege, to walk in the power or rule of government. It tells us that we walk in the same kingdom authority as Jesus. Come on, I know we got to believe. Come on, we got to believe that. I we believe. walk in the same authority as Jesus. A prophetess, can I ask a question? Go ahead. Why is it so hard for some of us to believe that? That we have the same power to walk in just like Jesus? Or should I say even some of those that where we tell them that God's great, God has grace and mercy. You have grace and mercy over your life. And some of them, they go, oh, whoa, it's me, Lord. I don't have no grace and mercy. After, you know, I done did so much wrong and everything. You, you're speaking pretty much death of yourself and not receiving that God gave you grace and mercy. That's the time you take that power and you repent. Because when you repent, he wiped your slate clean. And don't go back to that same thing that you just got delivered from. Come on now. You know, and some people just feel like, oh, I ain't got the power. Yes, you do. It's in his word. We are reading it right now for you. That you have power. You know, you just can't sit there and have a pity party because you think, oh, you know, said the Lord don't love me or you did so much to where you feel like you cannot be forgiven from. The devil is a lie. He gives you a chance with grace and mercy. He's a God of second chances, third chances, fourth chances for you. He's giving it for you to get it right. You take that grace and that mercy and you use it because he's had given it to you. Don't be a plum dumb fool and feel like that since you didn't sin, you gotta wallow in your mess. That's a lie. And that's a lie from the piss of hell. And I'm gonna Whoa. let you go ahead. Uh uh-uh, uh, but no, I was get, that gave me time to because I'm gonna answer it with a scripture. First second Corinthians four and four. And whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Whoo! Mm. Hoo we which believe mm. not. Uh, uh, uh. the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, 
who is the image of God should shine unto them. Whew. So see the God of this world. When people don't believe that's the God, let's just say the God of this world. That's Satan. Yes. That's the reason why, come on, say, that's the reason why you got to know. Listen, I have a revelation and to understand and know that I live in, I am in the kingdom. I, I am, am in positioned the kingdom. in the earth realm, but I live in the kingdom. The, come on. Hallelujah. So, so, so because if you're in the world, Satan blind, he, you got blinders on. So until you accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, uh, Lord and Savior you're not going to be able to receive. That's why right. sometimes you talk with people, you got to bind spirits in the name of Jesus. You got to preach to God, use that word, like I said, use the word like a sword. They got to be it. able to uproot that doubt, uproot that belief in the name mm. of Jesus. It says that you have been, and then, then, then boy, the book of, in, in Corinthians, I, I, I'm going, I'm paraphrasing right now. In the book of Corinthians, also says that they cannot, that because of their blinded, that those that are of the world, they cannot receive the spiritual things. Uh, so and we and we gotta understand that so that we don't get oh why they're not hearing me they, they they're not hearing you because they hear from Satan and they, until they're in the, they they they're in that dark state right right that's the hey that's the place they don't want to go I've been there before it's not a place where you want to dwell at trust and believe hallelujah. me hallelujah glory be to God so then the number three oh I like this one I like the way when Bishop said this Kratos. <laughs> great in reigning hallelujah i think yes. y'all men and what i told i exhort y'all men kings and priests you you yes every man should not you should be able to understand you're living that's the place you should be living at amen no, amen nothing, nothing, less, nothing, nothing less. less in the name of jesus that's nothing it. less in the name of jesus so look what it says ephesians 6 and 10 Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Might. Great and reigning. The power of his might. Even me as a woman, there's some things that I may have to do or lift and things that in the natural, I shouldn't have been able to do that. Right. But because I had the power of God, the Krotos power, the Deuteronomy power working on my life, I was able to do it. It says, yes. Kratos be effective power in reigning. It includes mm. vigor, dominion, a work of power of dominion. We're going to get there. We're going to land that. Jesus has given us keys to the kingdom. What are your keys? Should be your key of power. Mm. Matthew 16, 19. To take back dominion over every societal sphere of influence. I love this. Business. You saw the reign over in business. Arts, entertainment, athletic, at the athletic industry, media, government, education, family, faith. This is an area of Kratos, great Christians to reign in that area. In your work, whatever, whatever your family, you're supposed to reign. In the church, the church is supposed to be in a place of great, to great reigning. Kratos, the church is supposed to even be in a place of duty. We're supposed to have authority, the church at large. We do. But yes. the, the body of Christ is made up of people. So we need to know that we have the authority. Like I said, Jesus Christ, the kingdom authority of Jesus. Come Amen. on, you need to say that, those. I got, they say I got three minutes. Three minutes. I got to get down and I'm give you number four. Come on. Number, number four is Dunamis. That is where great in miracles. We're going to deal with that on Sunday in its entirety. Great yes, in man. miracles. Dunamis means with miraculous power, might, and great force. By implication, it points to a miracle itself. This is where miracles come from. Is any wonder we don't see a lot of miracles because we don't understand it comes from the power of God. Right. Above this inherent power to perform miracles, it also includes moral power and excellence of soul. The power and the influence which belongs to riches and wealth, power and resource arising and arising from numbers, including mm. power in and resting upon people, army, Forces and hosts. Whew. That power, what mm. it say in, in Acts 4, 33 and 32, look what it says. All the believers were on one heart, one soul, one, no one said what they possessed was his own, but to them all things were in common with great power. That's Dunamis power, 
the apostles testified to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was on them all. Mm. Great grace and the power of God was on them all. Oh. Dunamis power. These are the powers that we want to unleash in, in our lives. So I want us to, Hallelujah. you need to be saying, unleash God's poise within my spirit influence. Unleash, unleash God's, God's enthusiasm within my spirit influence. Yes, Lord. Unleash Hallelujah. God's dunamis power within my spirit influence. Yes, unleash Lord. God's protos within my spirit influence in the name unleash. of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Glory the name of God. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Over Hallelujah. your business, over your ministry, over your family, whatever it is, the, we, because you have accepted Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ has given you the keys to the kingdom. He's given you his kingdom power to utilize. Why? Because you need to utilize this in the lives of people, in the That's lives right. of, in your own life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory. We got Amen. one minute, Deacon Dale. What you got to say? Uh, what I got to say is uh, stay focused, keep pushing, because the time is now for the real saints of God to stand up and walk in their power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And when he said that, stay focused, keep pushing. I'm sitting here with my shirt on right now. Uh, Deacon Dale is in a wheelchair, but he got power. He got yes. his own T-shirt line. Keep pushing. Call the church, 816-795-1900. Any of you that's in wheelchairs, you have positive encouraging t-shirts for you to be able to wear amen if you got amen. loved ones so call and support his business in the name of jesus Hallelujah. amen so we just thank you i thank you for being here with me um this yes, morning and we glorify and magnify the name of god so join us for bible study join us for part two amen which will be this sunday at 10 30 a.m where we will start off with part two bishop yes. will bring in the power of god on part three and four so all this month this is all we're going to walk in. Amen. Amen. Nothing less. Nothing less. What? The, the, the kingdom of God is what power, not just talk. So what we yes, preaching, ma'am. what we put in the atmosphere is going to manifest, it's going to be demonstrated and manifest on our lives in the name of Jesus. So we shall see the koi power of God, the exusia power of God, the kratos power of God, and the dumas power of God. And call me with your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so that we will be able to see the hand of God moving over the greater Kansas City area, even in your yes. community, the power of God. Speak it, those of you in the inner city, say, I bring down the power of God in my community. I bring down the fire of God over my city. I bring down the fire, the blood of Jesus over my city. Those are all instruments that relate to the power of of God. Hallelujah to the Hallelujah. God. You got the word of God. You got the name of Jesus. You got the blood of Jesus. You have the Bible and they said we out of town. Time. Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at gbfic.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri. 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900.